So on my Facebook group recently, I had someone ask me a question, and they said, you know, my horse is really good at home, but when I take him elsewhere, things get him wound up, and you know, he just, I spend all day at a horse show, he doesn't come back down. And so I got to talking about asking about how good the horse is at home and like he does everything I want and one of my questions I said to her was okay can you get him to like from a standstill make him do a flat gallop for 30 seconds okay and then have him come straight back down to being relaxed and she kind of said oh I'm not sure I'd want to do that it might upset him that's the whole point of all the work at home is, you know what I mean? If you don't do anything that upsets them or gets them outside their comfort zone at home, they don't know how to come back from being really up, you're probably going to have problems away from home, you know. So, I don't think I've ever really done it too much with Bundy, but if I was here, I should be able to... and go, yeah! Now, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi... Five, Mississippi, six, Mississippi, seven, Mississippi, eight, Mississippi, nine, Mississippi, ten, Mississippi, eleven, Mississippi, yeah, twelve, thirteen, Mississippi, fourteen, Mississippi, fifteen, Mississippi, sixteen, Mississippi, seventeen, Mississippi, eighteen, Mississippi. Thirty seconds didn't sound like a long time a minute ago, did it? Twenty, Mississippi, twenty-one, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, twenty-three, Mississippi, twenty-four, Mississippi, twenty-five, Mississippi. 26 Mississippi, 27 Mississippi, 28 Mississippi, 29 Mississippi. Now I'm going to reach down and bend him to a stop. And can he stand perfectly still right here? Or is he jigging and dancing around? Apparently he can stand perfectly still right here. So Bundy's telling me he seems to be able to come back from well, my ladder goes on now. Bundy's telling me he seems to be able to come back from being up because he was reasonably upright then. Okay, he wasn't just loping around, he was going. When I asked him to go, he went. And so, but you think about this when you go to a show and your horse gets really up, you have no control over the situation, none whatsoever. The situation's controlling you. And if you don't want to get your horse up at home, you're a whole lot braver than me because I'm going to get my horse up in a situation to where I have complete control of the situation and I determine how much I get him up. You might want to try and do that for one second. Can you go here and get your horse to hit a really fast can and maybe a bit of a gallop for one second and then bend them around and see if they can come back down and then walk off on a loose run. If they can't do that, Gallop for one, you know, gallop for one second, bend them down, and then work on getting them back down to where you can then walk around. Okay? And then once you can walk around, yeah, go. And yeah, 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 for two seconds. And then reach down here, bend them around till they come to a stop. And And if you ask them to walk, they could just walk off nice and relaxed. Maybe do it for two seconds, then do it for three seconds, then do it for four seconds. But I guarantee you, if your horse has a hard time coming back down, like when you're at a horse show or something like that, you haven't probably exposed them to enough stuff at home to get them back down. And I guarantee you, when you first do that, oh, they're going to lose their mind. Good, you're at home. Uh, you're in a controlled situation, the situation didn't control you, you were ready for it, you knew it was going to happen, you planned for it, you had a plan on what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it looks like Bundy could pass that test, I can do that and then ask him to walk around and he just cruises around. But, you know, I think a while ago there was a, um, I don't know, it was in one of Buck Brenneman's movie, like in The Seven Clinics or an article that he wrote or something or other, but it was like, your horse is not really safe unless you can open him up okay and what he's getting at there is i guarantee you if you ride your horse for long enough in enough places something is going to open him up whether it's a kangaroo jumping out of the bushes is going to make him open up or you're at a horse show and the loudspeakers and someone's horse gets away and runs around um, any of those sorts of things if you you know it's, it's not so much about can you get your horse to run that fast, it's can you get your horse to that level of energy, adrenaline, and then have him 
come straight back down again and it's a skill that they they learn and I mean I'm always on about this like in the groundwork and stuff you've got to get them up and you've got to get them down you've got to get them up and you've got to get them down but you've what you've really got to do though is um, make sure you you get them up enough and I'm not saying you want to do that with a young horse in its first ride but it's some you know if you're complaining that I take my horse away from home on a trial ride or to a horse show or something and he gets kind of wound up um, you know how do I get him back down again you probably haven't practiced enough getting him up and getting back down at home you know I, like I said I'm really really big on making sure I control the situation and that the situation does not control me so just think about that in your training and make sure that you've prepared your horse um, for everything possible and done everything possible that you can